Good morning YouTube, this is Johnny. Thought I'd make a video since it's quiet this morning here in West Michigan. It is 9.12 in the morning. It is October the 17th, 2019. So it's kind of a cloudy, gray, cold morning, fallish. Sitting in the dining room, there's no books behind me. There's just the kitchen. And yeah, I'm, I wrote already, I'm on page, I wrote a page already for my 2019 diary. That's page 842. And now I'm writing on page 843 for the year 2019. And I was reading, well, I haven't really got into it. I got this out to read this morning. Participating in Christ, Explorations in Paul's Theology and Spirituality by Michael J. Gorman. And I got this out yesterday to look at. This is St. Jeanette by Jean Paul Sartre. I was got this out because I was reading yesterday this... Uh, Susan Santang's book of essays against interpretation, which came out in the early 60s, came out in 61. <laughs> and I was reading in her, her essay on this book. So I went looking, it took me almost two hours to find this in the lower level. <laughs> so I was reading this essay about the book in here What's it called? Uh, Sartre's Saint Jeanette. So I got, I looked at these yesterday. And last night I read some more Touching the Starfish by Ashley Strokes, Strokes, Stokes. And I read some more yesterday of that's Newburyport by Lucy Elman. She didn't win the Booker, but uh, I've read 519 pages in this massive thing. Now, you know, I said this thing is over a thousand pages. And I wanted to show you something. Now, that's over a thousand pages. I found out through an email that uh, there is a group of and Grand Rapids, which is 25 miles east of us, they're going to they're going to reprint a very famous 17th century English Puritan work, uh, the sermons upon the whole, the 17th chapter of the Gospel of Saint John, or Christ's Prayer before His Passion, by Anthony Burgess. It's going to be two big volumes. It's, it's going to cost around, oh, I think it's around, you know, $85, two volumes. It's a big, massive work. It's online if you want to look at it. So it's, it's basically Anthony Burgess, who was a 17th century English Puritan, who wrote, he preached to the Gospel of John chapter 17, and these are the sermons. They're online. There's a website if you want to, no, just leave a comment below the video and I, I'll direct you to where that site is. But I wanted to, but you look at this, you look at this uh, big massive book of uh, Ducks Newburyport. This is over a thousand pages. There was a number of years ago, somebody republished Anthony Burgess uh, sermons called Spiritual Refining the an an Anatomy of True and False Conversion by Anthony Burgess. And this were, these are sermons that was first published in 1652. Now these are photocopies of the original 17th century edition. Look at that print. See that small print? It's like, it's like reading a 17th century manuscript. And this volume, this is volume one. This is over 700 pages, a small print. Look at that print. See how small that print is? 
It's really small print. And then there's another volume. This is volume two, part two of Anthony Burgess' uh, contents of the treatise on a treatise of sin with its causes, differences, migration, migrations, and abrogations, uh, the steepfulness of man's heart, presumption, reigning sins, and the hypocrite and formality and religion. See, this is really... See how small the print is? This one is almost 350 pages. So you have, almost all, you have this massive Puritan work compared to Lucy Ellman. So the Puritans, they wrote massive works. Now this is the 17th century English Puritan Anthony Burgess. It's kind of like a photocopy of the original volumes. They did Somebody did put them in a bridge form, two volumes, Spiritual Refining the Anatomy of a True and False Conversion. These are more put into English. I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of like plain print. It's been reset, the print. But it's very abridged. These cost me, I bought these all a long time ago. It cost me $30. I don't know how much this set costs. I don't know. I bought it years ago. This Anthony Burgers. So I'm kind of excited. Those are going to come out next year. His sermons on John 17. Would I say they were uh, expository sermons upon the whole 17th chapter of the Gospel of St. John or Christ's prayer before his passion, explicated and both practically and polemically improved by Anthony Burgess. So I look forward to getting that. You know, I'm not like into the Puritans as I was for many, 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 many years, but I still like reading them because they're really, I just like the way they write. <laughs> and I like reading. I think to me, as I've said in previous videos, if you're going to read anything, as a Christian, you can't go wrong reading the Puritans. And they're all available. I mean, they're still being reprinted today, like that Sermons on John 17 by Anthony Burgess. So I did also read last night Against Memoir by My Michelle T. And I also been reading Sun Sun Tang, Her Life and Work by Benjamin Moser. I got a book coming in the mail, a Christian book today. And I got, I ordered some books from the New York Review. They were on sale. I'm getting those in the mail too. But this morning I'm kind of looking at Anthony Burgess on spiritual refining and uh, reading uh, that book on. Participating in Christ, Explorations in Paul's Theology and Spirituality, Writing in My Diary, Drinking Coffee, It's a Thursday, I don't plan to do anything today, my wife's going to be gone, she's went out for breakfast this morning with a friend and she's going to visit a friend this afternoon, and I just plan to, sit, to read my books, write my diary, I am feeling kind of freaked this morning. Like I said, I'm kind of feeling kind of dread, full of dread and anxiety as usual. But I'm praying the Lord give grace. So I hope you're having a good week. I hope you're all having a good reading week. Like I said, I'm really excited about being Anthony Burgess being reprinted, his sermons on John 17 coming out next year, maybe in the winter of next year. But So, until next time, I hope, thank you once again for the new subscribers and the comments. And Do uh, pray you're all doing well. And until next time, bye.